So let's talk about weighted averages. I need to calculate a weighted average anytime I have, for example, a grading scale that operates on percentages. So my homework is worth 15%, my quizzes are worth 10%, projects 5%, online tests 20%, and offline exams 50%. Okay, so I'm going to use this information right here to calculate a weighted average based on the scores I've got listed over here. Okay, now this is just an example, and so for this example, I'm going to assume that there are two offline exams. I've taken my midterm exam and I have not taken my final. And so I'm going to assume that this category uh, tells me that my midterm is worth half of that. So I'll say my midterm is worth 25% and my final is worth 25% as well for a total of 50. Okay, so we're just going to make that assumption and um, it's spelled out for you in your project, but this is an assumption that is valid for this class. So I'm going to make that, oops, final answer. Thank you for talking. Okay, so I went to say final exam and I just want um, 25%. Okay, that's what I meant. So I want to find my grade. And so what I'm going to start with is adding up my score, 79%, times the weight for this category. The weight for the homework category is 15%. So I'm going to start with 79% times 15 percent. Okay. Add on to that, so that's my homework. Add on to that my average on my quizzes. So let's say we got 67 percent on our quizzes. Those are worth 10 percent, so times 0.10, right? Okay. Add on to that projects. Okay, I got a 54 percent on my project. So 0.54 times 5 percent is 0 0.05. Okay, um, plus online tests. Okay, so online tests, I've got a 78.5% average, and those are worth 20%. Okay, plus my midterm exam, I got a 72%, times, I'm going to do 0.25, saying that my midterm is worth 0.25% of my grade. Okay, so let's add all of that up right now. So let me get my calculator. I need 0.79 times 0.15 plus 0.67 times 0 0.10 plus 0.54 times 0 0.05 plus 0.785 times 0 0.20 plus 0.72 times 0 0.25. Okay. Um, looks like I might have hit a key wrong. I hit enter there on accident. So let's just add those two up because I forgot to hit the add key. So we get, there we go. If I added them all together up, I should get 0.5495. Just remember that number, 0.5495. Okay. Now, what I'm assuming right now is that I don't know my final exam score and Let's say that's the only thing I don't know. Um, so I know that my this score plus my final exam score is going to equal my grade. Okay, and so X right here, I'm just saying that's going to be my final exam score. So two things, like how would I first of all calculate what my current grade is because with these scores, it doesn't make sense that my current grade is 54%. I mean, that's not true. So I need to think about what portion of my overall grade I've got so far. And so if my final exam is worth 25%, that's the only category that I don't have. I mean, I've, I've got homework, I've got quizzes, I've got projects, I've got online tests, I've got a midterm. This is the only one that I'm missing. Okay, so I'm missing 25%, which means I've got 75% of the scores reported. So if I want to get my current score, I'm going to take that 0.5495 and divide it by what portion of the grade that is. So I'm dividing it by that 75%, right? 100% minus 25% is 75%. Okay, so let's go calculate that number real quick. So if I divide this by 0.75, my current score, without taking the final, looks to be 73.26. So I'll just say 73.3%. Okay. So that would be, 
for example, if I'm doing my project, that would be the first part, calculating a current grade. So to do my weighted average, the big thing about weighted average is that I'm multiplying by the percentage that the category is worth for each item. And then, because I'm missing a type of grade, I have to go ahead and divide by what portion we've already added. So I'd already added these portions. This is the only one I had not added. So 100 minus 25 is 75. I've already used 75%, so I divided by 0.75. That's my current score. And so for this particular student, uh, the current score of 73 would put them in the 2.0 range. So my current score is 2.0. Okay, so the next kind of question that I would like to answer is what score does this student need to get on their final to get um, to keep a 2.0, let's say that. Okay, so this is where this right here comes back in. If they've got a 54 54.95% or 0.5495. I want to know what that X is going to be so that when I multiply, oops, I um, missed a 5 right there. I forgot my finals were 25%. Okay, so uh, what I need is to figure out what that X is going to be so that my final exam grade added on to my current grade without it is going to equal what I need for that final. And what I need for a 2.0 from the course overall is a minimum of 70%. So I'm going to set that equal to 70% and solve for my x. Okay, so let's subtract that. Subtract again. Oops, 495. Okay, so 0 0.70 minus 0.5495 is 0.1505. And the last bit, I need to just divide by that 0.25. Oops. Okay, so divide. What we get is that in order to keep the 2.0, this particular student needs to get a 60.2% on their final exam. So they can calculate that if they have a final exam grade of 60, 0.2%. They don't even need to pass their final exam. They were able to keep their 2.0 because their other scores were already so high. Okay. All right. So uh, take a look at this and let me know if you have any questions moving forward, uh, working on your own weighted averages, or completing your project.